Okay, this video is how to import media from your iPhone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this USB into uh, my computer. This other USB goes to the back of the, uh, uh, the uh, Mac desktop. Uh, this uh, USB cable is a little frayed, but it still works. I'm going to grab my iPhone, and there's a little slot in the bottom there that you slide it into. So I'm just going to push it right in there, and it's going to squish in, and uh, you'll see it, uh, it articulates. Yep, it's working. All right. All right, now we're ready to import from the iPhone. I'm going to go up. I'm going to click on File. It's going to open up a drop-down window. I'm going to go to Import and then click on Media. Bam, Tom Lehman's phone. I'm going to click on that. And that will fill our import window with all of the media on the phone. If you notice, the ones with the lines through them, I've already uploaded. The ones at the bottom with no lines are the ones we're going to upload. So what you want to do is first click on one of them. And then you're going to highlight them by pushing down on the shift key and then uh, click on the bottom one and that will highlight all the ones in between. Then go over to import and click on it and bam, they're inside there. And we're going to have to scroll down to find them. All right, there they are. If you see this little circle here and it's got a dark spot in it, that means it has not uploaded yet. So what you're going to see is it's going to start to fill with like a little pie. And as it does, it'll roll right in there and then it's loaded. And uh, watch them. There they go. And bam, we're all in. Good. Another way to know if your media is being imported is to go all the way up. Just under the title Final Cut Pro, you'll see a little ball. And as you can see, that ball's filling. And as that ball fills, it's going to show you what's happening with your background task. Now, if you click on it, it opens up another window where you can see you're importing media. 90%, 92, 95. Bam, we got the media in there. Great. And now you can create your project. Okay, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other tutorials on Final Cut Pro.